Hey guys, it's Melissa. I'm trying to make sure that I'm sharing the right screen with you guys. Okay, so today we're going to go over lecture six math homework. Um, and dimensional analysis is going to be your best friend today because there's a lot of different things that we have to be able to convert. So if you remember, dimensional analysis is just taking one unit and converting it to another unit, similar to how I've described um, a unit hour, right? So one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. So minutes is just another unit, like hour is a unit. So this area over here, this is gonna be our conversions, okay? And these are our practice questions here that are found in your lecture packet on page 29, okay? Okay, so let's do number one, okay? So number one is how many teaspoons are in a quarter cup, okay? So if I look over here, um, I have a cup right here, and it doesn't really tell me teaspoons, but I can go from cup to mLs, and then from mLs to mLs to teaspoons. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So always start with what we're solving for. So we're looking for teaspoons. So little t is a teaspoon. And then now I'm looking up here to see which conversion can I use. So the only conversion I really have right here is one teaspoon is equal to five mLs. So whatever the unit is here, that has to be the unit up here, right? So one teaspoon is equal to five mLs. And then this has to be mLs because I have to be able to cancel this out. So I need to eventually get two cups. So I'm gonna look over here and see, do I have anything with mLs to cups? Yes, I have this one right here. So we can say that 240 mLs is one cup and that we're gonna change this to a decimal, right? So 0 0.25 is the same as a quarter, right? Like there's a quarter, there's four quarters and a dollar, right? So um, this is a quarter cup, and this is just going to be over one. And then you can cancel out your like terms, so your mLs and your cups. Check and make sure you have the correct units on each side of the equal sign. So we, there's teaspoons on the left side, teaspoons on the right side. So that means I set my problem up correctly, and now I can multiply top and I can multiply the bottom. So you're going to take 1 times 240 times 0.25 and you get 60. And then 5 times 1 times 1 is 5. So if you divide 60 by 5, then you get 12 teaspoons. Okay, so that's one way to solve it. Now let's pretend that we didn't know that 240 mLs is in a cup. Okay, so if we're solving for teaspoons, we still start with our teaspoon. So one teaspoon is equal to five mL but we're gonna pretend that we don't know how many mLs is in a cup, okay? Um, but I do know that uh, there's 30 mLs in one ounce, and I know that there's eight ounces in one cup, and then there's 0 0.25 mLs over one, because we're going over the quarter. So this basically right here, this is just a conversion to go from mLs to ounces, because I knew that eight ounces was in a cup. And so then I can go from eight ounces to cup. So you can memorize this if you want to, but I'm one of those people where I want to memorize the least amount of information as possible. It makes it easier for me. But if you were to multiply this across, you're still going to get 60 over 5, and you're still going to end up with 12 teaspoons in the very end. So there's one way to do that. All right, any other 
questions. I guess you can't ask me that. I'm just so used to saying that because normally I'm on campus and or I'm live with you guys. So I apologize if I sound crazy today. I've been up since 6 and it is now 8.30 p.m. and I've been working nonstop. So I apologize for my crazy talk. Okay. All right. So number two says to convert five and then fluid ounces, that's just the same thing as saying ounces. Okay, so five ounces into mLs. So we're solving for mLs. I always start with what I'm solving for. So this has to be mLs. And I need to eventually get to ounces. So again, I could use this if I wanted to, or I could use this one right here if I wanted to. Okay, so I have two choices. I could go this route or I could go this route. Okay, again, I like to stick to one fluid ounce is 30 mLs. Um, these are the ones that I usually memorize. I memorize this right here. I memorize that one tablespoon is 15 mLs. I memorize, memorize that one ounce is 30 mLs. I memorize, memorize that one cup is eight ounces. And then I memorize that one pump, pint is two cups. There's four cups in a gallon. And then one gallon is four quarts. So if I memorize all of those, I don't have to memorize any of the ones that aren't highlighted because I can get to that information without doing that. All right. Okay. So now remember we're taking these fluid ounces. So I know that there's 30 mLs in one ounce and that there is five ounces that I need to get rid of. So I just took this fluid ounce right here to ounces, okay? That's all I have to do, because once I get rid of this, then I can finish with my mLs by checking to see that it's on both sides. Then you can multiply the top across and the bottom across. So if you multiply 30 times five, then you should get 150. So 150 mLs is the correct answer, okay? Okay, so the next one is we have 180 mLs and we want to know how many ounces that is. So I'm solving for ounces and I have mLs. So again, I'm using this one fluid ounce is to 30 mLs. Okay, so um, I need my equal sign here, sorry. Okay, so this is going to be ounces. So one ounce is 30 mL. This is mLs here, so I can just plug this in here, 180 mLs over 1. And then you can cancel that out. You can multiply the top across, so you have 180. And then you could multiply the bottom, and you get 30. And I like to do my little tricks with my zero. If there's a zero here, I could cancel that. And so then I know that it's going to be 6 ounces. Okay. Okay, so the next problem is that we have six ounce cups and we wanna know how many mLs does that six ounce cup hold? So this is telling us that there's six ounces in one cup. It's like saying six ounces in one cup. Okay. Um, so basically they're saying there's a cup like this, right, that has six ounces in it, okay? So we're solving for mLs, and so this is going to be mLs. Again, you could use this one right here if you wanted to, and you could use this uh, if you memorize that 240 mLs is in one cup. So you could say 240 mLs is one cup. Or... You can say 240 mLs is 8 ounces if you wanted to as well, okay? So it's up to you. 6 ounces over 1. You can cancel out that. 
Then you'd multiply 240 times 6, and that's 1,440 over 8. And then if you divide that by 8, you get what? 180 mLs. So that was one way to do it, right? The other way is to just say mLs is 240 mLs, or you can just say um, that there's 30 mLs in one ounce. You can say there's six ounces over one, and you still get 180 mLs. So you're still going to come up with the same answers, right? So there's different conversions you can use. Um, I just tend to focus on the ones that are highlighted because I know that I can get to any of those problems by memorizing those and knowing that I can just put conversions in to get my answer. Okay, so the next um, question says, how many tablespoons are in a quart? So we want to know how many tablespoons are in a quart, okay? So we're starting with tablespoons. So if I look, here's my quart. I don't really know how many tablespoons are in there because it's not given to me, okay? Um, but what I do have is the tablespoons right here is equal to 15 ml. So I can say one tablespoon is 15 mLs. And then I know whatever conversion I put here has to have mLs in it, and I need to eventually get two quarts. So you could plug in your 240 mLs right here if you wanted to, or you could say there's 30 mLs in one ounce. There's eight ounces in one cup, and there's four cups in one quart and we're solving for one quart, okay? Now, if you wanted to do the 240, you could say one tablespoon is 15 mLs. That's 240 mLs in one cup. And then there's four cups in one quart, and then you're solving for one quart. So you could do it that way as well if you needed to, okay? And so now you can cancel out your units, and then you can check and make sure that you have the same unit on this side as the opposite side, and then multiply all the way across. So if you're doing the top one, you take 30, you multiply that times eight, and then times four, and then you would end up with 960, and then you would take 15 times one times one times one, right? So that's 15. So then now we have nine, 960 divided by 15 and you'd have 64 tablespoons, okay? That's for this one. Now let's just do this one. We should get the same answer. So 240 times four equals 960, and then divided by 15, you still get 64 tablespoons. And that's how you do your math. Um, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and talk to me. Um, so for your, uh, final and midterm, the ones that you're probably going to need to memorize, let me put those out there for you, for the, your midterm and your final. You need to know the other ones because you have math problems on them, but for your midterm, you need to know that one teaspoon, and your final, one teaspoon is five mLs, that one tablespoon is 15 mLs. That one fluid ounce is 30 mLs, and that one cup is 8 mLs or 240. So if you know those, you should do well and know those conversions. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day.